Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, and trust also in me. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. The Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve others and give his life as a ransom for many. Unless a person is born again, they cannot see the kingdom of God. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you, search and you will find, knock and the door will be opened for you. Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. What does it profit a person to gain the whole world and lose their soul? A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. If anyone wants to be my follower, they must turn from their selfish ways, take up their cross, and follow me. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Everyone who exalts themselves will be humbled, and everyone who humbles themselves will be exalted. Know that I am with you always, even to the end of time. When you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. In everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it, but if you give up your life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, you will save it. Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who mistreat you. My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the authorities, but now my kingdom is from another place. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. Ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. My sheep listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. No one can serve two masters. You cannot serve both God and money. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. In everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus.